Hello guys, welcome to Amador Tronics. So in this video tutorial, I'll show you how we can uh, install a simple screen recorder to record our uh, Ubuntu screen. That's a very uh, uh, basic uh, uh, screen recorder and uh, you can get a uh, very good output of that uh, screen recorder. So what you need to do, you need to just uh, go to your uh, terminal and here uh, you first, uh, uh, you can give a sudo apt update and now uh, you can uh, give sudo apt install simple screen recorder so here we go uh, we can say yes and uh, here it is installing now installation is complete so now we can just close this terminal and we can just go to our simple screen recorder by search searching it so here we go this is the icon of the simple screen recorder we can click on it now and uh, here it is uh, telling us like you are using a non x11 windows system it means uh, it's a uh, um, uh, uh, VLAN uh, which is currently not supporting by simple screen recorder so uh, some fe several features will most likely will not work properly in order to solve this uh, so what you have to do we have to log out and we have to uh, just uh, log in with the xorg uh, which is the legacy uh, display server of our unix so that way you have to log in so what will you do we will just uh, first close this thing and we will just log out uh, from here and uh, uh, after log logging out we will just select the uh, uh, the xorg uh, display server okay so we will just click on this logout and as soon as we will click on the logout we will i will see the logout uh, screen here and here uh, in this uh, uh, we have to click in uh, our this uh, our username we will see this gear icon here here in this gear icon we have to just click and we have to select the uh, the first one is the VLAN and uh, uh, the second one is basically the uh, the the uh, XOR legacy so we can easily switch right now I'm in uh, that XOR itself and we will just now re-login okay now uh, as we have selected the xorg uh, display server now we can just uh, open the uh, simple screen uh, server uh, simple screen recorder sorry so here we go so now as you can see now that pop-up uh, window is not coming so it means uh, things are uh, working now so now uh, we can here uh, record the entire screen uh, this is the uh, resolution uh, so you can select from here and uh, 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 record a fixed re rectangle follow the cursor and all you can select whatever the requirement you have frame rate you I, I would suggest uh, you can keep it 30 and uh, if you want to record cursor you can uh, click on it and record audio uh, here uh, we, we have this thing and uh, in this case uh, uh, backend uh, you just select ALSA and uh, source will be default uh, source uh, uh, so now we can continue and uh, then we can just uh, give uh, the output profile uh, is there uh, before uh, there this input profile we have to give so this is uh, initially it will be it will be none in your case because uh, once I had actually installed this thing that's why it is showing uh, videos so we can uh, give a profile name by selecting this uh, by giving like a new and then uh, give a name here and uh, then that name like i had given videos so this this way this thing will come and after that we'll just click on continue and here uh, we can just browse the uh, path and file name and uh, we can uh, container here we can give like uh, the mkb file or mp4 file or whatever the file format name we can give so mp4 i'm giving so uh, this way uh, we can just continue now and uh, here also the output profile you can select uh, high quality intermediate or anything like i'm selecting youtube right now so we'll just click on continue um, 
okay sorry uh, we did not select any output file so here we can give the path name like uh, this thing home uh, on desktop videos and uh, we will give the file name as video uh, uh, one uh, and dot mp4 uh, let's say for mp4 all only we are recording so we can hit continue and here we can start recording and uh, as soon as you will just uh, record and it will just uh, click on record it will just start recording okay so now we can save recording and we can open folder and here we go we can click on it and here you can see now this is our recording video So I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any doubt regarding this, just feel free to comment us below. Thanks for watching this video.